Welcome back. Thank you all. <clears throat> Uh, current update on the flood crisis and exactly what we're doing to respond to it. Uh, as I said earlier today, uh, to put it briefly, we, we've got a problem here. We're in a rescue phase in a number of areas. I want to reinforce South Central Pennsylvania, the Susquehanna River, is still on its way up. Uh, in fact, as of just a few minutes ago, um, the flood level is 24.84. The prediction it's a little bit better than the last time I talked to you. It's down to 28.5. Uh, Wilkes-Barre right now is at 38.7. and seems to be holding for the moment. Uh, at the same time we're in this rescue phase, though, uh, we're already working on the plan for recovery. Uh, all of our state agencies, state police, National Guard, the entire cabinet is now fully focused. We had the cabinet in here, as I told you that we would. I think we had about a two and a half hour meeting going over everything that the, the various agencies are doing. Um, before that, I had a conference call with the state delegation in Washington. Um, almost all the members, at least the members from central and, and eastern Pennsylvania, uh, were on. Senator Casey, Senator Toomey were on. Uh, the leadership of the House and the Senate, both parties, were, were on. We're bringing them up to speed on, on where we were, uh, what actions we were taking, keeping them informed. Uh, I would ask that uh, you remind um, the citizens in the various counties, the municipal officials in the various counties, uh, that requests for aid uh, must go through the county agency to Pima. That's a system that is set up in place. Um, there have been instances where people have tried to obviate the system. Uh, and we have a priority system here, and the number one priority is uh, protection of life, food, water uh, to people. Everything else after that is put into a, a, a different order. But it needs to come through the county agency because that's what Pima uh, is looking for, so an orderly process. In my conversation, though, with the federal officials, they all asked what they could do to help. They all promised uh, that they would uh, work with the administration in Washington to get us our declaration as soon as possible. Uh, as I said, I, I convened the cabinet for a uh, two and a half hour period. Um, we re heard, heard reports from many of them, uh, including from the uh, Department of Transportation with a number of roads that we're going to show you here in a few minutes, some of the slides. Uh, some pictures that were taken by state police from helicopter earlier today. There is a lot of damage, and I hate to say it, we're going to have more, because most of the slides you're going to see are from north. They're not down uh, here in, in south central Pennsylvania. Uh, the water now flooding the cities in the north, as I said, is only going to flow in one direction, and that's downstream. Um, in addition, though, we are seeing uh, some acts that I would consider of heroism that I'd like to bring to your attention uh, from the disaster response teams. Some of those are uh, National Guardsmen, some of those are uh, uh, state police, and as we talked about earlier today, the Swift Water uh, Rescue people. For instance, this morning, Pennsylvania State Police learned of a seven-year-old boy who needed a liver transplant, was scheduled for one, and this morning his family learned that a donor uh, liver was available in Philadelphia. Uh, unfortunately, the family was stranded by the floodwaters in a town near Schuylkill Haven. Uh, our state, one of the state police helicopter crews went up flew up, picked up that boy, uh, took him to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, and at last report he was undergoing surgery for that liver uh, transplant. Our National Guard uh, now has more than 1,200 men and women on duty across uh, northeastern Pennsylvania and here in the Harrisburg area, uh, although I don't know if they're in Harrisburg. I, I consider the gap part of the Harrisburg area. Uh, they have evacuated 60 people by ground and have rescued 76 people uh, and six dogs uh, by air. In one instance in Sullivan County, um, a Chinook went in, landed on the ground, and, and took out about 25 people uh, in one instance. The single biggest rescue, I'm sorry, I said 25, was 58 people in Sullivan County. We have activated the swift water teams, as I said. We had 13 already on the ground uh, in northeastern Pennsylvania. I told you earlier today, eight more were coming. Six are already on the ground, 
uh, out there working, and two more are still on their way of that eight. Uh, now we're going to show you some of the photographs taken by state police earlier today and give you an idea of what we're dealing with up and down the river and what could lie ahead down the river particularly. Uh, the first shot, that's Interstate 81, about mile marker 99, which if you're going up Interstate 81, you're going to know this one's just before Pine Grove. Uh, as you can see in this one, it just lifted up the pavement. Uh, the uh, terrain below fell off, lifted up. That's all closed off uh, at the moment. Interstate 81 northbound is closed, uh, a main artery. And uh, I'm not quite sure what the uh, marked um, detour is. Uh, I believe it's going up 68 or 78 rather to 61, up 61, and returning uh, from there up to uh, uh, 81, up around uh, Saint, on the road near St. Clair. Uh, next shot, it's the town of Wilkes-Barre. It's showing the river just below the Market Street Bridge. Uh, as you can see, this is, these are the levees on the Wilkes-Barre city side. They're holding. Remember what I told you today, 41 feet. The prediction uh, was for um, just about 41 feet, just below 41 feet. We have a new prediction, um, I believe, at this point, and it's a little bit less than that, um, but still very, very close. And we're just hold, hoping that those uh, hold. Um, Rivercrest expects, still expected, I'm sorry, to be at 40 feet, 6 inches. Um, next slide. A little better picture of it. As you can see, the water is very close under the bridges. Next slide. Um, did we miss one? Okay. This is the Bloomsburg Fairgrounds. You know, the fair is coming up in a few weeks. This is what it looks like right now. It's all underwater. There's a lot of work ahead there. Next slide. This is still Bloomsburg. This is the high school. There's actually just off site. Uh, I'm going to look for our state trooper. I think over in this area is the water treatment plant. To up this way. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'll come back to the water treatment plant in a second. Next slide. This is uh, the Montoursville, uh, the railroad bridge in the west end of Montoursville, Lycoming County. Um, you can see the bridge it's off, is off its pilings. In many instances, what happens is the way they built the bridges is they, they count on the weight of the bridge to hold it down onto the pilings. These are old railroad bridges. That's now off, subject to going in to the uh, water. Right now, we believe that's a short line. What's important about that is that's a short line that is probably transporting a lot of sand uh, in use for the Marcella Shale, keeping trucks off the highway. Uh, that's going to need to uh, be repaired. Next slide. <coughs> we took this because, if you haven't heard already, the turnpike is closed. Uh, eastbound from the Harrisburg interchange to the Reading interchange. Primarily because right in here is the Swartara Creek. It goes right underneath, right now, it's right below the bridge. We're worried about the structure of the bridge uh, and the water will be coming over soon. The posted detour uh, in, in this one is actually uh, to get off, they have them going up 22 up 61 to 78 and down because it, as of two hours ago there was a section of 222 that was closed. That might have changed um, since that conversation. Next slide. Okay. Uh, as we said, all the water that you have seen has been going south. It's coming here. Um, again, I'm concerned. It's nice out there right now compared to what we've experienced for the last four days and the uh, people are going to relax but all that damage is coming down this way 
it's toxic uh, with the number of uh, water plants that have, or uh, treatment, sewage treatment plants that have flowed. The, the creeks and the streams are overflowing, coming into um, the entire Susquehanna Valley. Uh, we're worried about people even getting near the water. Uh, one of the reports that we had were people walking out along the levee in Wilkes-Barre and saying, look how close the water is. You know, they, they go in, if you've gone down to see the river, it's moving pretty quickly. That becomes a rescue mission for a reason that, you know, if they hadn't gone down there, just waiting uh, for the pictures, uh, it would be uh, much safer for everybody. Uh, a total of 10 water and sewage treatment plants so far have failed, meaning that in those areas, the water is toxic. It's going to come downstream. Uh, there is a, you know, in some respects, a flood has the, you know, the solution uh, is the dilution. It will be spread out, but... Um, and talking with the Department of Welfare and Department of Health, uh, this isn't something you want to go play in. You know, it's not good for your, not good for the body. Um, again, we're not seeing the low water uh, on the roads in this area at this moment, uh, but you have to be careful. If you see water going across the highway, uh, don't go through it if you don't know how deep it is. Uh, that, that's our biggest concern at, at this point.